If I talk to you about a Megillah, then the chances are good that you are going to think about Purim and Megillat Esther. And that is a wonderful association for you to have because you're right, we read Megillat Esther on Purim. But Esther is one of five Megillot that can be found in the Tanakh or the Hebrew Bible. Tanakh is an acronym, stands for Torah, Nevi'im, and Ketuvim. So Torah, the first five books of uh, of the Bible. Nevi'im are the prophets, so often we associate those with the Haftarot, and you've heard of some of the sections of prophets, whether that's Joshua, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, or even some of the books with the prophets in them by name. Um, so for example, Hosea or Amos or Micah or Joel, um, even Ezekiel potentially, um, and there are some more obscure names, Obadiah, Hezekiah, they're good names. Then, as we continue into Kituvim, or writings, we're going to come across books like Psalms, Proverbs, Job. Well, five of those are technically Megillot. They are standalone scrolls. And rather than reading them um, on a standard Shabbat, as we would a Torah reading or a Haftarah reading, they are often associated with holidays. So. For example, we read Ecclesiastes or Kohelet during Sukkot. Esther, you know, is for Purim. Song of Songs or Shir Hashirim, Passover. Hold that thought. Ruth is for Shavuot and Lamentations or Echa. We read for Tisha B'Av or the morning holiday uh, that happens in the summertime. But today I want to talk about Shir Hashirim or Song of Songs. This is a love song. It is a long love song and if you read it then you'll get the feeling that it is between um, romantic love between a man and a woman and our sages interpreted it very differently. They interpreted it as a romance between God and the people Israel. So why then do we read it at Pesach time? Wow. When you are in love with someone, especially feeling romantic, sometimes what you do is you acquire gifts for that person. So we start with the idea that Pesach is in the spring. In fact, one of the reasons that the Jewish calendar is the way that it is, is because Pesach always has to happen in the spring and therefore we have a lunar and a solar calendar together rather than just a lunar calendar. And so God brings us flowers. Um, God also, through romance, gives us freedom and sets us free from the bondage in Egypt. And I want us to think about that for a moment. You know, we can hear Sting saying, you know, free, free, set them free, right? There's this notion that if you love somebody, you let them be themselves. And there is this notion um, that comes Jewishly that God sets us free out of love, but God also has us dedicate ourselves to God's service. When we leave Egypt, we're not completely free. In fact, we go from the hands of the Egyptians into the hands of God. And so there is this wonderful um, mixture of freedom and obligation, but also great love that comes with Pesach. And I hope that as the seasons turn to spring, that you find love poetry, whether it is in Tanakh, or whether it is the love poetry in your own life, and you remind those whom you love how important that love is every day of the year but especially at this time of the year. Chag Pesach Sameach.